what I feel working in this environment, it is both an intellectual challenge, at the same time having this um, mission at the top of my head that engages me requires all my commitment. The Institute was designed to develop vaccines for low-income countries, but to do in a way which was unique and therefore they use the most modern technologies. They have all the know-how to make the most sophisticated vaccines. The Institute started in 2007 and for the first few years it took us a little while to build up staff numbers and to get our own facilities in place. Something that really changed when we had the opportunity to inject the first vaccine in human with the first glycoconjugate that we generated in the 2009. I can say that this is the starting point for the Institute. A great lesson I learned from my colleagues in Africa is that you can do everything. You can overcome limitation, you can overcome uh, availability of resources, so really you can do a very high job given that you provide the people with knowledge. We take on some of the risk and some of the development costs so that we will develop a process which a manufacturer can then pick up reasonably confident that much of the risk has been taken out of it and so they will then be able to develop a vaccine. Most people said, well, where are you going to make the institute? It's going to be in Africa, it's going to be in Asia. And my answer was Siena. People said, why Siena? To make vaccines, you need critical mass of people that really know how to develop vaccines. And Siena is a place where people have been developing vaccines for more than a century. The institute started to work very quickly, and if three, four years after uh, day one, basically, was able to test in the clinic the first vaccine against typhoid fever. And if we had done an institute in a place where there was no knowledge or know-how about vaccines, that gonna, was going to take 10, 15 years at least. The fantastic part of this institute is that you have the possibility to follow all the steps that uh, start from the early state of the uh, research up to the clinical trials. The very interesting uh, part of this job, it is um, the openness of the Institute for uh, the external collaborations. Uh, we do engage public health experts or um, scientists from local uh, universities in endemic countries right from the beginning of the process. And we have the opportunity to collaborate with a broad range of expertise. So in most cases, uh, uh, vaccines uh, or other health intervention arrive in developed countries when they have been used already for several years in Europe or in the US. But when you can develop the products that are really developed for the disease who affect those people, they can get the treatment early and the treatment is uh, targeted for their needs. I think the mission is in, in the name, is global health. And I, I think what we want is uh, to remove the gap in health that is out there between rich and poor countries. And vaccines can really uh, do a lot to reduce this gap. And I believe that the Institute is in a perfect position to help in doing that. Actually, we're working for the people there and most specifically for children. And Maybe if we have already achieved our mission if we're able to um, enhance their life opportunities uh, of just few of them. Actually, I do not need to be a mother in this respect to say that um, it is a privilege to work um, thinking of the health of those children. I think after many years of working on this, it's still exciting. Each day I think about what we have achieved, but I think also the potential of what we can do is, is still remains every day. I think, wow, we could really make a big difference here. <laughs>